And welcome everyone to episode eight. I almost said chapter eighteen. That is the wrong show <laughs> and the wrong season. This is episode eight of season one of The Last of Us. Hopefully, YouTube actually go. lets this video go out because they did it for The Mandalorian. Because that's just come out today. Because today's Wednesday, so that thing was sitting on YouTube and no one noticed for a week. So I, I knew that. I think I liked it. <laughs> it's just like god damn it youtube oh. but hey blame warner brothers because that's it all comes from their copyright strikes on the channel and, and mucking over our stuff so like universal is known for that too so like they're they're all like i think disney and i don't side. think we've ever had universal like no. run rampant on the copyrights and the strikes, yes. Or every time it is, it's always Warner Brothers. Yeah. Like every I, like you know, two years, they'll go through like every video and just rip that out. You, you, know, you know what the funny thing is? You say what you will about Disney or whenever whatever products they put out, they've never once. Nope, we've never once had a Disney Disney strike on this channel. Good. They, they I think they they realize is like good bad. Good, bad, it's all publicity, right? People are still talking about it, so... Yeah. You know. uh, whatever. And bias aside, of course. <laughs> yeah. We don't say that in the comments. All, all hail the mouse. All hail the mouse. I'm sorry. I had to say I mean, that. That might get you to my entire, you know, the YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, that, 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 hailing the mouse is woke, so that will get you demonetized on YouTube alone. It's... Only in Florida, so... Oh no! Well, YouTube is the Florida of the internet. Let's be honest here. Where's Ron? Who's the Ron DeSantis of this place, man? We need to. I I, I would say the guy's channel, but it would no doubt get them demonetized. Yeah, <laughs> we don't speak the name of these people yeah. for fear. He has the same uh, initials as a big comic company. That's one of the big two. You can figure that one out. Whatevs. But anyway. Um, Anyway, <laughs> Last of Us. I adored this episode. This uh, Bella, episode. Bella Ramsey is flexing to oh, all the hell in this show, and this one, she she ripped the shirt just like flexing too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, before we really get into it though, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at six nine two tweets and six nine two pics, and of course I'm with Sean. Hey, I'm here. You can follow me at Marvin Martian underscore twelve. This is why I get for rambling. This is like oh, <laughs> I forgot. We all, the intro. We, all, we all ramble every once in a while. So. Yeah. What's that link tree in the description? If Army remembers, <laughs> I never actually checked to see if he remembers or not, but I assume he just copies and pastes it. Right. <laughs> That's what I do. Just be like yoink. But yeah. Um. Some slight I gotta, changes to the episode. Um, can I can I say something? Scott Shepard was a standout in this, this episode, along with Bella. Like, was Scott Shepard um, David? David. Yeah. 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 As, speaking of them, though, Troy Baker, nice little yeah. cameo from Troy Baker in this, and actually, I did. He, I think he did a pretty decent job. Interesting yeah. role, you know, the, the guy that played Joel in the game to suddenly be one of the cannibals. This is like, that's an interesting place for you. I wouldn't have put you there. But hey, it worked. And he did a good job. Yeah. Oh, they, they did a really good job of incorporating people that did the voices and kind of like, hey, you know, we, we're going to go a different way with the actual character, but he, we have a place for you in the show. You know? <laughs> so. I don't know if the girl who played Ellie in the, sh the games in the show, if she is... She's next She's well week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it, uh, like, for me, it's like, uh, don't know, heads or tails. I had to Google <laughs> the people's faces to, to, to know who they are. But, like, yeah. it's good to see that, the, that they are, you know, like, it, it almost is like paying homage to what came before, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. But it's yeah, not. It's episode. nice just to have the voice actors recognized in something, right? Because yeah. you know, you, you look, you look at Star Wars and stuff, and the voice actors for all the like, the Clone Wars characters are nowhere. Yeah, yeah, nowhere, and it sucks. You know, you hear the name, but you don't always see the face. So, like, yeah, you see the face. <laughs> right, just let's have 
let's give voice actors a bit more recognition in this industry because their their job is hard. They make more sometimes as actual actor actors. Like they make screen. nothing. Voice actors what? get nothing. Yeah. Well, it Absolutely depends on, like, nothing. I mean, like, depends. sure, like someone like Troy Baker, who yeah. is every voice in Steady everything work. ever. Like, sure, you're gonna make a lot because you you take you're taking every job. But you look at like Dove Danime. You, you're gonna have the same voice actor for a lot of stuff because yeah. A well, doesn't yeah. pay well, right? So there's well, only no, really the one I'm, person to do it. Right? Well, what I'm saying is like you get a good steady paycheck, you know. Like if you're a, because like voice acting, it, like once you get in, it's hard. It's hard not to get jobs. Like you're always getting something, you know, whether it be little minor parts or whatever, you know. But like, I don't know. It's it, it, plus it's a talent that some on-screen actors do not have. I will stand by that. On-screen actors cannot voice act. Period. Uh, <laughs> voice I'll actors can this. act on screen. I, I've, I, I, do you know what? An exception, Bradley Cooper. He nails Rocket Raccoon. He can on-screen yeah. act. Apart from that, mm, <laughs> it's hard. It's a very mm, like nuanced no. thing, you know. Like, you know, or at least, but, you know, I, I'll, I'll I'll make another exception to this rule. Everyone, bar anyone that was on or in What If, because <laughs> every actor in What If was horrendous. <laughs> Just like I know you can do better than this. Can you at least try? Uh, well, the best part of being a voice actor is like you can literally be anywhere in the world and do your job. <laughs> you know, you don't have to be. That's very true. Yeah. For months, like. Also, I know people are going to say, but like Mark Hamill, like yeah, I, I know the Joker, and like, yeah, he's he can do well, both. I'm, but yeah, he's the exception. One of the exceptions to the rule. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Just off but, the top uh, of my head, I'm just I'm just thinking of him like, oh yeah. But for the most part, it's on-screen actors that can't do voice acting. It's a totally different skill. But uh, yeah, man, this this episode was tense. <laughs> it was pretty tense. Oh yes, it, like, yes, it was. Continues the trend of like, kind of, like I I'm, and I'm being very literal. Is like I was literally on the edge of my seat, and I was like always looking at the screen, but kind of looking away too because I knew. I figured it out pretty quickly what was going on, and like I was like, "Man, this is messed up." I say it's the typical like zombie cannibal episode. Like you always have them, uh, zombies loosely. So Druckmann don't come and destroy my house, please. And I know they're affected, but uh. but you also get the uh, the tip the the proto the uh, the the typical zealot, you know, cult yeah, the, the old culty <laughs> ones, yeah. Yeah. kind of rolled in one you know that trope it's a one you know and i think it worked really well i mean like i i and i think they tipped their hand pretty quickly to uh david's uh intentions you know uh yeah that that's the thing that i've seen people complain about the most and i think i i think i like don't don't just dismiss it and roll your eyes it's, it's, I, I, no, I find no. it legitimate I'm right. rolling my eyes, but go ahead. No, I, I, I know. I, I, I can hear the creak of the like. <laughs> uh, it's fine, but it's it, again. I'm not knocking the show, but I, I feel yeah. like this is where my this should have been longer. Like mm-hmm. the, the season needs to be either the season needs to be longer, or this should have been split into two seasons for the first part. But yeah. that. The the fact that it's the the, the intentions revealed almost the instantly, right. yeah, and it's just like oh why well, I know exactly who you are. We're looking for you, right? And it's in the game you get to spend a, that little bit more time before yeah. that's revealed, and yeah. it, I'm, like, it, it. I'm not saying it doesn't work in the show, right? It it, it worked, but it's yeah. uh, it doesn't help going from a like coming from a and going to b, and you're like. Oh, yeah. well, you just you you ran through that bit like it's. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I think mm. it's it's such a weird thing when you're developing a show. Is like, what what do you do? How how long do you make these episodes? Because like you don't want to yeah. be overstay your welcome, right? And no, I think exactly, you yeah. know, I think this show could have benefited to be split. You know, like you probably. I think it absolutely it. could do. Yeah, like, you could have easily have had two seasons out of this. 
I, well, I think that you could have a added an extra episode and then be kind of split it, right? You know, um, yeah, yeah. I think the episodes are pretty decent lengths. I think, but I think it oh yeah, the the, the, the whole like the use of the whole okay. hour near enough is yeah. is, is totally fine. Yeah. Totally I think fine. I think I think I, I agree with you in a way that it would have been more uh, intense if if this, especially this episode. I think this episode could have worked a lot better with a, another episode that kind of made it a two-parter you know um mm. but you know it, it 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 didn't and it still worked for me you know i think oh yeah uh, it, it still worked for me it's just more it's yeah it's unfortunate i i just i just agree with the criticism of that it's i, I feel like this yeah. is like if I, but it, if i had to point out any point in this show where the mm. difference is between how I think the game's always going to be better. Right? I think you're always going to get it because you get to spend more time with them. And the, the little in between bits of the conversations of just slowly walking between a point A to point B that this show doesn't have. It's, you know, you get so much more development between Eddie and Joel and that relationship so much more built up than it ever. I think this episode could have been kind of split. I, I mean, for me, like it could have yeah. been two-parter it could have benefit like that one extra episode but it's like it's so hard to gauge if that's the right decision when you're making these shows you know because oh uh, yeah yeah you especially know, you for know, you... like something like this you know yeah. it's yes the last of us is one of the biggest selling games in history and you know yeah. millions of copies millions of people know this story it's still not mainstream yeah I mean, it's no. it's well known, but it's well known in a very uh, community, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not it's not like a a well known. It's not a property that is like, I mean, it's not Iron Man or anything like that. It's a it's a well selling game, but it's like people know it, but it's not very like. Yeah. Well known. You know, it's like sure, video games are a larger market than movies, but movies have that broader appeal. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can. Oh, and, and TV shows and TV. Like, uh, I was I was putting more together then. So, like, you know, there's more eyes are always going to see a movie or a TV show than they yeah. ever are a game. Well, I say ever, right? Like, yeah. games not everybody are has a PS5. Not everybody has a PS2. I mean, <laughs> the Last of Us is available on three generations of console. You can. Or, but, uh, I think PC. Yeah, I think it's out on PC. I can't remember. Yeah, anyway, but then, you, <laughs> you've had twenty years to play the damn game. Play the game. Yeah, but you know, not everybody's a game gamer. You know. Like, no, not, exactly right. You know, there's always going to be like this, I, the broader I mean, appeal of movies and TV shows. Well, it also it shines a light on the game. You know, so now that you may not like. Oh yeah. yeah. You might not have been a gamer at one point. If you saw the sh- saw the show or the movie, it might have opened your eyes a little bit more to like what you could be doing in a game. So you know, like it, it, it mm. it's like a reciprocal relationship, you know. So. But speaking of games, I'll give this episode points over everything else this show has done because Joel used the pipe. Yep, finally, he finally <laughs> picked up a damn pipe. Oh, well done. He wrecked well done, Joe. Too. You picked up a pipe. I will clap. I don't know if that's the going to insul- microphone. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the magical insulin kicked in, you know, like he, you know, he. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that was my favorite bit. It's just kind of like this guy was literally about to die five seconds ago. <laughs> he was literally motionless, you know. <laughs> he was drooling from the side of his mouth, and he and opened his eyes. He, he, he had motions, not a lot, but he balls. had it <laughs> with weapons and their candles. So it's like I, I just appreciate the fact that it, it wasn't like the Fast and Furious. That action star thing, where it's I'm about to die. I'm 100 percent better now. And it's like okay, this, no, he he's this, he's flailing. This, this dude is clearly <laughs> using his body weight to stab yeah, people. Like he, yeah. he's not using his he's arms. Falling, he's just falling. He's falling right? into people with that knife. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to he's say. Not, he's, he's not Vin Greasel or anything like that. You know, Vin Greasel. Ah, oh, perfect name. Oh, I'm gonna call him that from now on. Yeah. It's been my running, you know, name for that guy. You know, like Vin he's such Greasel. a machismo machismo guy like i don't know i can get into a rant about that guy that guy how he is. <laughs> yeah that's that's, that's but, not. <laughs> but uh yeah it's it's infinitely more realistic even with the magical insulin 
than any of those movies put together. <laughs> you know, people mm. come back from the dead in those movies with zero explanation. You know, <laughs> I say at least yeah. this is like, oh, he, you know, he he had <laughs> the the ins- not insulin, yeah, the penicillin minutes, or yeah. whatever it was. Like, he actually did have something. But, um, but I th- this also I think sets up Joel to like, because this is a- another thing with like. Actually, no, is that what I was going to try and make a point with? No, I'm not even going to do that. But um, it, it sets up that, you know, Joel's not a nice guy. Oh, he's... No, I think it's it, more It's like... getting the audience ready for the thing. Spoilers, you haven't played the game. Like, it's, yeah. it's getting ready for the, the big thing. And well, Joel I, was at the centre of that, and Joel's not the nicest person. <laughs> He's not an, he, but he's not an evil person. And you know, he's he's a victim of circumstances. No, it is. Yeah, it, it's the very much the. Well, it's the end of the world. What do you expect? Like, you got to do. We got to survive. Like, there's yeah. no other way of getting around. There couldn't possibly be a different way of handling situations in an apocalypse, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's that sort of mentality. When uh, yes, you can, but, <laughs> you, but I mean, you like, have he, to stab that guy. <laughs> he you no, he he didn't. But like. You also got to realize, like, he hasn't been dealing healthily with that trauma of losing his daughter, you know? Oh, no, no, 100%. <laughs> I, no, no. I think he's probably the lesser of evils in this world, you know? Like, he's done some really heinous stuff, but, like, it's all probably preservation of life and, you know, whatever, you know? It's like, there, there's a well, reason. It's, it's the perceived preservation of life, right? Because yeah. all, all he's doing is just amassing amount yeah, yeah. of bodies that He's will cool come himself. back and bite him in the behind but that, i know youtube the changed their policy on swear words but i'm not taking my risk at the minute <laughs> <Behind>. <laughs> yeah. you got demonetized they're gonna that. bite yeah, him in they the change the rules like, again yeah. <laughs> they changed. but no yeah yeah for sure but that's the beauty of this show though it's like it's a realistic take on how the how people deal with this stuff like you know like you see these end some of the world might say movies. too realistic with the news about the cordyceps in yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> just like yeah. Oh, no, let's not talk about that right now because like <laughs> i live in the near that region of that fuck of that world so it's like mm. that was close. anyways I, I, that that was very close i'm gonna leave it in there to test it out <laughs> yeah, <you're right. laughs> very close. i caught myself but yeah. like uh, but it's like you see these shows that deal with the end of the world or zombie and nobody is like a human being, like a character in those movies, you know, like they're just moving forward. They're like a force of nature more than anything, you know, like they're doing all these crazy things. But like, if you think about it, though, like if this really happened, like I guarantee you, like the the most guy that is I've like, been survival, you know, like army guy, you know, and stuff like that, they tend to go crazy first or like i don't know oh, yeah. like yeah. I, I look at these like people are flawed but they're flawed in a way that's more realistic than anything ever i've ever seen <clears throat> in a movie oh, or yeah. tv show you know and i that's what Absolutely. i like about it it's it doesn't cross a line on either way you know it, it like kind of skirts that middle ground you know with how because like i i look at this show and i'm like yeah i, I mean look you think about it and it's like all the things that he's done is like you 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 say you people say that they would do the right thing when this stuff happens, but they tend to, to veer to what he's done. You know, like you know, it it's just how it is. You know, like that's how human. I always are. find it funny the people that are like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd be a badass. I'd survive this and that. No, you'd be affected in a second. You'd be the first wave. Yeah. Well, or 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 they're one of two people get infected first, or they're crying in a corner and like sniveling. Like oh, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anybody that says that they would be a uh, BA in, in a situation like this are just lying. Like yeah. you don't even first you don't even know what the situation would do to you, you know, mentally. You know, like I, I don't know. I, I mean, look, I've been in the army. I was in the army for six years, but I don't know how I would deal with this situation. You know, like I'm not a preface. You know, like I'm not a survivalist. I, I I've, had, I've had training before, but like, and and, and the, when this stuff happens, you you know. It's almost like a body, you know, it's like, you know, like, I don't know what the, <laughs> trying to think of the word. It's, it's um, muscle, you know, reactions, you know, and stuff like that. I don't know, but it's anybody that says that they would be like the, the king of the hill is like, just lying. You, know? you don't know that. No, no. Yeah. unless it's like the, the red, like the irony would be the redneck dude who like mm. somehow 
survive I mean, with, with but, the guns and the bazookas and the pickup truck like yeah you probably live for ages well we even get a point like, we with bill and frank we get a kind of a view of how that might happen to you know like that's, it's true yeah that's more of a realistic version i mean like i believe because like i don't know you know it, it it's a situation like even with the situation with, I don't know, with, the, with what's going on in like the East Coast with the fungi, this technically that's never going to happen. This is never going to happen. You, but oh, like, I wouldn't say that. No, I yeah, it's on my bingo card. <sighs> oh, I would never have thought the U.S. would have spent a hundred thousand dollars shooting down like a hobby balloon. But oh, hey, what are you talking about? here we you know, here we are in the year of twenty twenty three. Like some poor sod's balloon has just got popped by like a jet. No, come I, on I don't now. Know, I don't know if you watched the Saturday Night Live, but they did address that, and I felt like that was the funniest. For like, yes, the I yeah I all like I definitely seen knowing the U.S. government and how it operates. I definitely seen like yeah they for sure yeah you know, like, that did not surprise me the minute they use it. A, a million billion dollar plane to shoot down a weather balloon that had cameras you know it's like i mean you could literally have gotten a guy with a bb gun and probably shot did the same thing with yeah. less <laughs> destruction you know? but we got to be the big guys we got to be the big <laughs> explosion guys you know like like it's a d it's a it's a d measuring gun but destruction. on the other hand you have japan over here being like oh what's this giant metal ball it's like it's a boy no, a, that's, <laughs> leave uh, it alone. It's meant to flow in the water. Just leave it. You haven't got to well, X-ray the damn thing. They also got like South Korea or North Korea lobbing missiles in their direction every other day. So, so. that's true. <laughs> Maybe the fungus know, it, isn't the worst of our problems. I, I welcome our quarter steps overlords. No. Yeah, I I forgot who was talking about this. It might have been like because I listen to like the like the after shows with this with these types of shows because it's interesting to hear the creators you know take on yeah. it. Yeah, and they you know one of the, I think I think it was either Druckmann or um, forgot uh, Meds that said that the the fungus is lo- is like they are loving things too. They you know like to the point you know like the the kiss with. Uh, test was kind of a you know the the fungus reaching out or something yeah. like that but like but i kind of they dive that. into that a little bit here they didn't they yeah with what uh david says it's like you know like it's or penicillin it's, comes it's, on, you know? Yeah, there's that you know this it's, it's it's loving it's spreading it's mating it's reproducing it's, do, it's doing all this like Beautiful natural food. human stuff it's just unfortunately it's not in our favor and it's yeah, well, like, it, the, I think the counterpoint is, is like the fungus is doing it against our will too. So you know, like they're not giving us a choice. Just, I mean, there is that, but at the same time, it's like you know, we probably did the same. We are the fungus. No, we do the same thing. The rest of the all planet. The time. <laughs> I mean, I mean, anytime we invade a country, that we're doing the same thing. We're imposing our will. You know, like in. in I was going just, less political and more uh, like. I mean natural <laughs> it's it's the elephant in the room right you know it's a it's a good example of like the counterpoint to the, the fungus it's like we we do this all the time in the yeah. world you know it's uh, uh, try a natural I, state yeah it's the human nature right we, we're an invasive <laughs> species yes who knows where no, the um, fire is. Uh, no. sorry i was just gonna say that there's, there's a slight change Mm-hmm. in this in comparison because it's the whole fight with ellie and david it, you know it's it's in the same spot the same things happen you know the the fire catches on in the cabin yeah. and all this and all that the difference is they have like infected show up at that point uh-huh. and then the whole reunion with joe and ellie is in the fire and in uh, this, obviously, there's no infected, which we haven't seen the infected for a couple of episodes, or we saw yeah. last week, but, you know, they've been using them really sparingly, sparingly yeah. in this back half, I find. And, of course, the whole reunion with Joel was outside, and there's been, um like, a conversation. Because in the game, I always thought it was weird, right, that Joel suddenly ends up in this locked steakhouse that no one else yeah. can get in that's on fire, and <laughs> it's just like, oh, Joel's here. Like, how did that happen? So, like, <laughs> personally... I, I like the fact that it's <laughs> they met outside. The only bit I found weird was like, well, where's he everyone didn't else? The scare her. Well, he didn't have to scare her either. So, like, I, I, I think in the state she was in, she was going to get scared regardless. 
because yeah, just, that no girl was r- pumping. She, like, she was 95% uh, adrenaline at that point. Like, she was just yeah. like... <laughs> but, yeah. and, and, but to go back to, like, David as a character, like, he kind of represented you, like, the, the devil, right? You know, like, especially that image with him in the fire. And, like, he didn't see... Oh, yeah, like, you know, he, yeah, he's the... Yeah. I mean, when you've been chopping up people for however God knows how long, it's... Yeah, you're going like, to be a bit... Uh, and like basically f- like not not forcing these people and it's not even tricking these people into doing it like it like he prayed he's on... just straight up lying about what he's doing yeah. but he like he's preying on these people's like like insecurities and it's, it's a typical cult leader mentality or yeah, you know, like yeah. you see a, ch- a chink in the armor and you're like oh this could benefit me and then next thing you know you're 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 the father <laughs> you know and it but he quickly lost his composure pretty quickly. Like all through the episode, he was like very scary, like scarily calm, you know. And yeah, that that first bit, especially when he goes like, what's his name? Was Troy Baker's character? Was it James? Was it David and yeah. James? Yeah. And he's like, you know, put the gun down, James. And it's just like, what? <laughs> like I knew it was coming, but the way he delivers it is like, damn, he's right there. Yeah. Well, like the, the part that really got me is like where like they're sitting at the fire right and like he's like trying to get her he's got her on her side he's starting to kind of get her guard down and then he just tells the story right of like we sent these people out and like you know in like yeah he reveals that, it yeah. yeah that part was super like it was like probably one of the most like my effective ways to read that line you know that made you kind of go wow he yeah. knew all along, you know. And he's, he's very presumptuous like, because there yeah. could very easily be a, a, a two person, mm-hmm. like two person party walking around out there. But <laughs> just so but happens the first girl we found was, was the right one. Guess, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> was, I suppose in that, at the same time, in that situation, in that sort of world, if you tell that story, you can go by their reaction. Yeah, I mean, and she and like <laughs> the look of fear on her face is yeah. like, oh no, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, oh no, no. I gotta get to Joel and quick. <laughs> Cause that, yeah. he's about to die. But that that was my favorite. I think out of all the scenes, yeah, that was my good. favorite scene. Favorite scene. That was, that was just like. <laughs> also, the whole Joel Ellie dynamic is now complete in this show. Yeah. Well, it's it's not quite complete. Obviously, there's there's, there's there's one more bit to come. But the but, like, I've got you, baby girl. It's like, yeah, he's yeah. he's accepted he's the there. circuit. <laughs> he's, 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 he's the circuit there. father, you know, like. Yeah. You know, it, 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 but it's like, it's very, like, it feels like a complete circle at that point. But, like, it, we'll see, man. Like, I think this last episode is definitely the sticking point for, I think, for a lot of people. Is like, if yeah, this is going to be the, the make or break point. If, if they, yeah. if I, I say it every week, you know, got my mm-hmm. concerns, I have mm-hmm. my faith in the show. Yeah. They muck it up, it's done, it's over. You know, you know, it, like I said the last time, nobody remembers anything after the last episode. So the last episode is like that's what people really remember. Like yeah. you could have the, the greatest season ever made, and then that last episode just kind of poops the you know poops the bed, you know, and it it could destroy. I mean, like that this, you can't take away from the fact that everything came before it, but it does taint the the perspective of the show. To the fans, yeah, that. yeah, you know, like, like you know really... there's the whole thing of it's you know, it's not about the end, it's the journey, or the yeah, the, well, the, I mean, about the journey is the end, or whatever, but it's 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 the same, but people a lot of people <clears throat> kind of form their opinions off of what they last see, and that you know, oh, that, yeah, because it's it's the you know, have you just wasted that... your time? Like, is yeah. the ending to this thing good? Like, is, yeah. is has this been worth it? It's, it's, it's a big and sticking I, point. I, I, I give him the benefit of doubt, and like, all like I like you said, there's concerns, but it, it's very minor and minute. And mm. and if this last episode just kills it, I'm like, I'll I'll praise it and I'll put it at my top, you know, top five favorite shows, you know, of the year, you know, like I'll, you know. I say it's one of those. Th- this episode, personally, for me. It's it cemented the concerns, right? Because it's yes, you can pull this off. You've got a bit of pacing going on here, and it's a bit of pacing I'm not sure if I'm a hundred percent a fan of. 
Mm-hmm. I, I think Nat is looking through video game tinted glasses of yeah. you spend an hour and a half, two hours day, yeah. easily just in this one spot with this one conversation. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say that it's more workable or doable in a video game. But if you did it in the show, I think people would be pro- having a problem with that. You know, like, you know, like, it, it, mm. I think it's like it's it's a weird, happy medium that you have to balance you know like yeah because it, it, it's, it's hard right you know taking this episode oh, as it is and going right where's your natural cut off point to have yeah. the split yeah and right you, you know there's certain parts where you can go or well, maybe you can go there but then you're not leaving yourself a lot but then maybe you could go here but then you, you're doing too much for the back half like you you could do it yeah. where the um she breaks his finger in a prison right and like she's she bites the hand and he smack he, he d- d- rips her head against the bars like you could have maybe left it there maybe but yeah i, I, I it's it's tough it's it's, it's tough, tough to do but, but that's taking it how it is now and gonna oh you could have no. just ended it here and carried on going like no you you'd need to yeah. plan that out more and Oh yeah, 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 I'm not sure I how think... I'd split it, but I think it should have been split. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I, I think there could have been a could have been like maybe a couple scenes drawn out a little bit more. Um, mm. I don't know, you know, like they could have been they could have spent a little bit more time looking for him, you know, because it's it's a big resort, right? You know, <laughs> like um, yeah, I don't know. You know like, <laughs> yeah, go door to door, and the second door he finds, it's like oh, cool. cool. Yeah, I, I think the like my biggest crit- like my only criticism is like like yours is like you add, this is a show that could have add could have more bene- like benefit an extra episode versus like mm. one last <laughs> you know it would have been a nice even 10 or just 10 even i don't know um of course 10's even <laughs> i don't know man. i'm old like i forget things and like don't ask me about math I can't, you know i'm not like um, but um yeah i think but i mean you never know i mean this last episode could be very at least double the length or you never know i don't know what the, mm. the the time count on this next this last episode so no we'll it's see. just they, they've got a lot to cover well, obviously they're gonna skip out a whole bit because you we, we don't get any of the traveling really in this show you, you've had it yeah. like twice but you, hate, you don't have it for the most part yeah. it's we know we've got a flashback with Ellie's mum, or some, something to do with Ellie's mum at some point, because we know she's been cast. So, how that fits into everything, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I guess, I, we'll I see. guess yeah. I mean, if this last episode is really long, or at least double the the, the time length. I don't then, think it is. I think it's like I mean, fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Yeah. I mean, they. Like, mm-hmm. Hopefully the writing's there, man. <laughs> you know, like if the writing's yeah. there. Because I I knew the longest one was the Bill and Frank episode, and then everything else is no like, forty five fifty around that. It's I, just like, guess hmm. we'll see next week, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm a sucker for the for not, like the ending of a season to be that double the length. I know yeah. that's just cutting the episodes down, but I, I'm a right sucker for it. I, I love sitting there for two hours oh. watching it all play out. Well, it's like, like, if it was big, it's big you know, finale, the end is right? supposed to be big. Like it's, as you say, it's the finale. Like it's got to be bigger than the rest of it. You've been building up to this moment. It's your crescendo. Like yeah, this is make it this two hours, big, please. This is the big fireworks. You know, at the very end of the Fourth uh, exactly. of July. Yeah, you know, like this is ha- this has to be good. You know, mm. so well, I, I, you know, I. I, I, it will be um, good. It, it yeah, will be I'll good. I, I might have some a nitpick or two, but I don't think it's going to ruin my enjoyment. Yeah, I think nitpicks are just like if you don't have nitpicks, then you're just fooling yourself. You know, <laughs> like every show has a nitpick, and like I, I don't think I've seen one perfect episode or season of anything. You know, um, no. Nah, nah. But if it's like huge, that's the big deal for me. It's like if it just kind of takes me completely out of the, like if it just does like a, a hard right on whatever you built up to that point then that's that's a problem you know but i i just don't see that i don't see how that could happen in this show like i, I for one i think i think like i said last time this is a redemption for Druckmann. i think he i think if anything he put more time and energy probably in this ep- last episode you know to kind of redeem himself from the the complaints of episode uh the last of us 2 you know the video game so like if he fumbles the ball again then you know but 
<laughs> then that's his, you know, his bad. You know, he'll he'll hear yeah. it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll but see. this shows put, uh, you know, old uh, Corey Barlog from Sony Santa Monica for God of War's come out and said, like, you know, this shows put the pressure on God of War. And it's like, Good. yes, it has. Because <laughs> we know not only do we know you're jumping to the fourth game, you're ignoring the previous three for good reason. I can understand why. There's but a lot of problem, man. There's a lot guys. of pressure <laughs> on that guy on that show. Good, damn, that's a lot to live up to. Oh, but that's good though, you know, like good competition breeds great products, you know. And so like it's if true, show, it's true. You know, like you're not like that's that's why I always say about like anything you know like if it's dc movies and marvels like if dc sucks then marvel's just kind of coast it you know and like they're gonna just yeah yeah you know the like, rising tide raises all ships yeah so you know I- i'm glad that you know this it, that's what they feel like you know they feel like mm. they need to put together this another good show you know like that's how you know that's how good shows work they come together you know like it's true yeah but yeah, um, so we're going to end this here for this week. That's slightly longer than what I wanted, but hey, there you go. There is a, there will be a hard cut in this, and I apologize. I, I just is Skype be skyping, and yeah, Skype went. Is, is our friend coming on for the last episode? Well, Jared, I haven't asked him to be honest. Uh-huh. I haven't asked him if he he'll be here for the the Mando finale. I can, I'll guarantee that one. I can guarantee you. Uh, so yeah, so the, hopefully we'll catch you all next time, and hopefully the Mandalorian, what we're going to do now, will actually be out before the chapter nineteen. <laughs> hopefully, fingers crossed, because that's oh, kicking the nuts that one was. But yeah, so uh, bye bye. <laughs>